guys. I didn't show how to do that. There's plenty of uh, videos online on YouTube how to do it. The hack and tap. This is how you set these up, bolt it together where you can work with it. So I'll show you all these tabs. See those spots? Gives you a gap between your part that you're welding onto and the housing to help keep it from warping the housing and it also makes it weld better when you do that. Anytime you leave a little gap in there for yourself and it ain't butted flat together, if it's butted flat together it wants to pull on it more than when you got somewhere for the weld to go. So, that makes sense to y'all. Anytime you weld anything, if you got a little tiny gap somewhere for your weld to go, like a weld prep or an actual, just not drop out over on me, an actual uh, weld prep or just leave yourself a gap, that's going to go there. Like so. I'm probably going to stand it straight up like that just because that's how I want it. It'll be more clearance at the bottom and we're making the the tube so it, it won't matter where this is sitting at. I want it flush down here. I don't want anything sticking down below the axle. So that means we're going to have to modify the truss. We're going to have to modify it anyway. I stuck it up in here and where I moved the shock mounts up Remember when we did that? I don't know if I made a video on it, but when I raised those up, it's putting them inside into the truss. So what I'm gonna do now is get the plasma cutter out. And we gotta cut about, we're gonna start with like an inch right here. Cut that off on both sides so it'll fit better. And then we'll weld it back to the shock bracket. Uh, but I'm gonna start fitting on this thing and I'll bring y'all back when I get somewhere with it. I forgot to turn my helmet on, what, on grind. I couldn't see what I was doing. Fit it. All right, a little bit more. And I'll take you all over there and show you what I'm doing. Just take about another about six tenths off of there. Well...
on this side. There's really no way to measure it and make sure it's right the first time. You just gotta keep fitting on it. If you don't got a plasma cutter, you can do it with a cutoff wheel. Same way, it's just a little slower. Right here. Just gonna go right here. And y'all see See people using these with nothing on, like no glasses or anything, don't ever do that. If you ever get one of these, it will burn you up. That's what we were trimming for. Same thing on the other side. Now, let me go get my um, C-clamps and we'll pull it down to the housing and see what it looks like. See if I can get under here and do this by videoing it. Big ass sea clam in it. They're Wiltons too, they're good ones. Jennifer found them for me at a well remember the video where she got me the vices. She got these from the same place. get one on the other side turn y'all back on <laughs> that's why I don't ever video this stuff it's hard to do I don't even know what y'all are looking at maybe it's good enough get one you get a truss like this you're gonna have to fit it you know it's not just gonna drop on there and be able to weld it it's pretty good right there though that's why they leave those slits in the top up there where it'll bend and conform to what you got not worried about welding it to the diff it's gonna be like a bridge over it upside down with truss like you would say not worrying about welding it getting it down low enough to weld it to the housing we're gonna weld it on all these ends and then when we tie all that link into it that ladder bar link it's gonna be pretty damn rigid that's about where it needs to go right there if we get a spot that's close to the diff we might weld it or we might build a bracket to go on the top bolts and go up to it. You know. Y'all watch it. I'm going to go get a hammer. We 
got it uh, interrupted by the females again. Y'all want to help me here hold this up? Still hitting on that side over there. This side here is coming down good. But it's still hitting on that shock bracket over there. So back out, cut another 3 16 off of it. Keep on doing that until we get it fitted. We're getting there. See it's hitting up in there still. So we got to take it back out. I want to get it at least down middle of the tube close as we can there touching on the top we can get welds on it wherever we want to weld it i want to show you all this we got it fitting pretty damn good because it don't want to come off it's wedged on there which is what you want Take it off up to that radius right there and come across with it. trimming it. Yeah. 
see how far we are away from the spring. It's about the same. Not ready to weld it yet. We still got to cut it out <clears throat> with a plasma cutter. Here. For our three link bracket. I want to get it down low where it's going to go, you know. Now let's get. So we basically, we basically, can y'all see it? Basically that line right here, we're going to come up into it 3 8 of an inch where that'll slip inside there on both sides, up to here, there, up to here, and we're going to cut it up there. And then when we get that fitted in there, we'll weld this to the tube. And then we'll slide this over it and then we'll weld up both sides of this to the bracket and on the top side and that sucker will be there and then we'll weld all this in after we get that done probably go ahead and uh, take it up in here and weld that up we'll get it cut out for the for this to go up in there and then fit it all back again I might bring the plasma cutter under here and do it that's probably what I'm gonna do and just cut it out right here just three-eighths of an inch straight up straight up over here after I mark it and then lay the bracket up on there see where we're at and then uh, once we if once we get it fitted where I want it I'll tack this to the axle housing and take it all out weld this up then put that back in and we'll start welding on it and get on it up against there like that. I'm going to weld it to this. And on the inside, these housings are supposed to be cast steel, but I had no problems welding on it. I welded all this plate on there. So, But we're going to weld it on this side. That way we can keep it over. we got to keep it off the vent tube hole too. So it's going to go right beside it. Just like that. Just like that. We'll grind this and preheat it and weld it to here and weld it to the tube and then weld this one to the tube in increments of like hours because we don't want to risk our housing. flat spot over here to hold my thumb to hold it square. to stop up there. And that goes right into the vent tube. Okay, that'll work out good. The vent tube hole. So we're gonna leave this in place. This will stay. And when we weld this up, we'll be welded to here. Both sides of the bracket on the top, all the way around once we get it all fitted. And then this will be up in there like that. I'm going to get the plasma cutter. That's not straight. Let's straighten the lines here. Just have to remember to cut to the house. 
outside of that line, and outside of this line, and outside of this line. If we're a little bit over, it's fine. I can fill it in. Well. All right, good enough for government work. I'll use something straight edge. You'll see when I get it cut out. I hope y'all can see that. I can't see the screen under here. Y'all worried about me blowing myself up with the gas tank? Well, I did. Alright, we didn't cut the axle in half. We did good. laying that in there until this is straight up and down and that is at 90 degrees and then at this this line here in line with that that uh center it's almost center line of it now what I want to do is run it center line of that yoke so it's almost there now Let me, uh, let me take a look at it and see what I want to do next. I guess we're going to leave it right there. It's not hanging below the axle by very much, but it's center line. That, that lower link is going to be the same angle as that drive shaft all the way up to the mount. I want to keep it a little bit below, just a little bit below the drive shaft. So if we get on something, it'll hit this instead of the drive shaft. So that's about where we want to run it, right there. Is it's the bar, the uh, link bar is larger than the drive shaft, so it'll. I think that'll work right there. But I don't want it hanging down, so that's why I rolled it up like it is. But we'll weld it all up in here, weld it to it, weld it to the housing. That some bitch be there. We get all this mounted, and I get it all welded in there. Then we'll work on the doing the bars. I gotta get a two inch hole, hole saw, I forgot to get one. I got a pretty good gap on the inside to cover up with that plasma cutter. Yeah, we won't have to do 
something with that, gusset that up or something. But it's fine, I can fix it. Plasma cutter's hard to cut wide, I mean, to cut um, out like 3 8 like that. It'd be better with a cut off wheel, but it is what it is. I'll fix it. I won't even know it was like that when I get done with it. Alright guys, I'm gonna get on this thing and uh, I gotta take it all back out now. Clean up some welds, fit some things better. And that that's come up on me. Uh, lower that back down, make sure everything's good. And um, I'll bring y'all back when I'm welding on it or something next. Alright guys, I've spent a few minutes getting it all straightened out. That's where we're gonna go with it. Tack the ladder bar link right there and then take it all back apart and weld up the ladder bar link and while that's cooling I don't know it probably take me a little while to weld that up because I had to weld about an inch long bead and let it cool off and keep doing that dance until we get it back to where we can set this back on there and then we'll weld the truss to the rear end and to the link and then this will be in there. It looks like it's pretty square straight. Everything looks good. So now I'm going to start tacking the link bolt, uh, ladder link in there. But I got that bolt almost dead even with the center of that casting mark on the diff is what I did. And we'll run that lower link just a smidge underneath that drive shaft so it'll protect it I mean I don't really ever get in any situations like that but when I do go over trees you know it could hit and I can go over bigger trees don't have to worry about it bending the drive shaft all right we got her set up gas is just bought that tank brand new and it does not seem like I didn't buy it I just had it exchange it and it just seems like it doesn't have it's got 1500 psi i don't remember what the last one had but i'm gonna start welding and i will bring y'all back when i get that thing tacked in there all right guys i'm gonna make short little passes like that it's tacked on all four corners got some weld over in there and here what i was gonna show y'all is if you're worried about your diff warping or bending or here's a little trick listen listen to the wheel bearing all wheel bearings in the rear have a little bit of play in them like that play in your wheel bearing up and down there's a little bit and all of them like that so what you want to do is when you get through welding it up just go slow with it and you don't have to worry about it but if you lose that little bit of play then you can think you know that the tubes bend or moved to make your axle tweak she's good I'm gonna finish welding that up you don't have as much to worry about with 825 it's a three inch tube big tube so I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish getting this welded up then we'll put the truss back on there and we'll start tacking fitting it and all that stuff so it's hard to set up the camera and do this but I'll show y'all when I get it welded back on when I get it welded on there Inside there, all the back side. Clean that off where you can see it. Johnny Thompson Jr. is my critic, welding critic. Let's see what he's got to say about it if he sees it. All right, well, we got everything up under up under here 
up under the truss. So now I'm gonna let it cool and stick the truss back on there and start messing with that. But still good there. And let that cool off. I mean, it's not terribly hot. I'm gonna lay my hand on it. If you if your paint's burning up and it's turning blue on you, then if you got a MIG, you set it. This is a quarter inch tubing on this thing. I set my welder at quarter inch and then I turn my wire speed down until I get a flat puddle. And then just gotta be quick about it. You can run that run right there pretty quick. And you'll see it digging in, digging in, digging in, digging in, and then just let it cool. And just do that. If you weld the whole thing up and you don't stop, it'll be twisted all to hell on you when you get done. You have to go slow, you know, that much weld at a time, and then move somewhere else, and then keep coming back until you get the whole thing welded up. We got everything under the truss welded up, so we're gonna stick the truss back on here, get it positioned, and start tacking it in place while the tube cools. Guys, I know this is probably crazy and all over the place, but it's the best I can do when we're trying to work like this. I pulled it down to where I wanted it to be, and I tacked it to the bracket we've already welded. So I can take my clamp off now and it'll sit where I, where I got it. And then we'll move to the other side and I'll tack it and do it the same way. And then we can start tack running tacks all over this thing. But it's where I want it. The middle of the tube. Smash down on there really good. And uh, I'm going to move to the other side and do it the same way. And then we'll be uh, weld, 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 weld. I'm going to tack. Get the whole top truss tacked in and everything welded up on it and then I'll move to the bottom and run them that way it doesn't tweak tweak on the tubes you know it's just basically sitting there on the tubes right now so when we start welding the center up and all that it won't pull on it won't pull on the axles welding the tubes will be the last thing we do we get it rigid above it and then we'll tack it to that housing and let the truss move wherever it wants to while we're welding and then do the tubes last. Right, I'm going to get at it. Alright boys, she's done. Of course my wells look better on the other side than they do on the back side, but that's how shit goes. kind of hard to... Making excuses, ain't it? Guarantee you one thing. Fucking things in there. A big time. She's going nowhere. Hey, Johnny. Laying on my, up under the Jeep. Those didn't turn out as good, just closing those gaps, but it probably would have been better to take this out of here to do this, but, you know, it is what it is. It's in there. Now I'm gonna throw some paint on it. <clears throat> She's good. Check our wheel bearings. Still got play in those, which means nothing tweaked on the axle. You just gotta weld a little while and quit. Weld a little while and quit. Just let it, you know, cool itself down. Anywho, if y'all uh, don't mind all the shakiness and stuff, um, I'll do the ladder, the bars next. Probably get on those tomorrow. Build a cross member, all that stuff. But like when I didn't make the video for the Dana 30, this is why, you know, guys. It just this video is. I don't like it. I've done reviewed some of it. I don't like uh, how it turned out, but. 
it I scubered up in there I couldn't see what I was doing but it is what it is I like it I'm happy with it and that link bar is in there so tomorrow we're going to run it up here put a cross member in there and get her done anyway I'll holler you guys later alright bye I think I made uh, three it's done videos, but it's done, done now. Got the paint on her. Pretty happy with all my welds. That Eastwood welder works good. And it's definitely solid in there. The only thing I didn't do is I forgot to paint the inside of it, but oh well. I'll figure something out for it. I'll put a, a brake cleaner nozzle on the paint can and put a straw on it and I'll spray it all up in there and let it run out the bottom. I don't care as long as it keeps it from rusting. That's the only thing I forgot to do. I didn't really forget. I just got on it this morning and I wasn't going to wait on the paint to dry. So It's a trail jeep. We ain't building it to show. If you can bet your ass that ain't coming out of there. It ought to be pretty, it ought to be stronger, the rear end. Definitely. But tomorrow we'll get on the link bars. I just want to show you all with the paint on it, what, how it turned out. I'll let you all later. Bye.